a loud radio. Brent was at the stoplight. His car radio was on. The music was very loud. Brent liked to listen to loud music in his car. A police car pulled up next to Brent. The policeman looked at Brent. He shouted, Pull over to the side of the road. Brent said, What? The policeman said, Pull over to the side of the road. Brent pulled over to the side of the road. The policeman said, Do you know why I am giving you a ticket? Brent said, You are giving me a ticket? Why are you giving me a ticket? The policeman said, Because your radio is too loud. A place to eat. Jenna was at the airport. She was waiting for her plane. Her plane would leave at 7 p.m. It was only 2 p.m. She had time to eat. She had time to study. She went to the airport restaurant. The restaurant was on the third floor. The restaurant was full. There were no empty seats. There were no empty tables. She didn't want to stand in line. She didn't want to wait. There was another restaurant in the airport. It was on the first floor. She went down to the first floor. That restaurant was almost empty. There were many seats and many tables. Chicken Soup William looked at his bowl of soup. It was chicken soup. There was white rice in the soup. William liked rice. There were pieces of chicken in the soup. William loved chicken. The pieces of chicken were white. They were small and square. They weren't big and round. There were pieces of orange carrots in the soup. William didn't like carrots. He picked up a piece of carrot with his fingers. He put it on the table next to his bowl. He took all the pieces of carrots out of the bowl. He put them all on the table. Then he ate his soup. A paper clip. Jim had two separate sheets of paper. He wanted to put the two sheets of paper together. He did not want to glue them together. He did not want to use glue. He did not want to staple them together. He did not want to use a staple. What did Jim want to use? He wanted to use a paper clip. He wanted to put the two sheets of paper together with a paper clip. He picked up a paper clip. It was a metal paper clip. It was a silver paper clip. Jim put the silver metal paper clip on both sheets of paper. Now the sheets of paper were together. They were not separate. Dead Batteries Helen turned on her flashlight. Nothing happened. The light did not come on. 
There was no light. What was wrong with her flashlight? She unscrewed the top of the plastic flashlight. Helen took the two batteries out of the plastic tube. She looked at the two batteries. They were D batteries. They looked okay. They did not look bad. But maybe they were dead batteries. She opened a package of new batteries. She put two new D batteries into the plastic tube. Helen screwed the top back onto the plastic flashlight. She turned on her flashlight. The light worked. Red rubber ball. Fred had a red rubber ball. He kicked the ball. It flew through the air. He picked it up. He threw it against a wall. The ball came back to Fred. He kicked it with his foot again. The ball flew over the wall. He picked it up again. He bounced it on the street. The ball bounced up and down. Then it stopped bouncing up and down. It didn't move. Fred's dog barked at the ball. Fred kicked the ball. His dog ran after the ball. Lulu's letter. Lulu's mom gave Lulu a pencil. It was a yellow pencil. It was a number two pencil. It had a pink eraser. The eraser was small and round and pink. Lulu's mom gave Lulu a piece of paper. It was a white piece of paper. There were blue lines on the white paper. Lulu wrote a letter to her grandma. Her letter said, Dear Grandma, Hello, I love you. Lulu told her mom she was done. Her mom looked at the letter. This is a short letter, her mom said. Lulu said, Yes, Mom, it is a short letter. It is short but sweet. Fly away. Greg took the pen out of his pants pocket. He took his keys out of his pants pocket. He took his cell phone out of his pants pocket. He took his wallet out of his pants pocket. He put everything into a plastic tray. He took his shoes off. Greg was at the airport. He had to get on the airplane. But he had to pass through security first. He passed through security. He put his pen and keys back into his pocket. He put his cell phone and wallet back into his pocket. He put his shoes back on his feet. He got on the airplane. Water and an apple. Susan likes to eat apples. She likes to eat big red apples. She likes to wear a blue hat. She wears a big blue hat on her head. She wears a hat and eats an apple. She drinks some water from a white cup. Susan drinks water and eats apples. 
She doesn't cut the apple with a knife. A knife is sharp. She just eats the apple. She holds the apple in her hand. She bites into the apple with her teeth. She licks her lips. She drinks more water. She wipes her mouth with her hand. Drain opener. Mike washed his hands. He washed his hands with soap and water. He brushed his teeth. He brushed his teeth with toothpaste and water. He turned off the water. The sink was full of water. The water did not go down the drain. The water stayed in the sink. What was the matter? Why didn't the water go down the drain? Mike waited and waited. The water didn't go anywhere. It sat in the sink. Mike opened a bottle of liquid drain opener. He poured the drain opener into the sink. Mike waited one minute. Then all the water went down the drain. Eat a peanut. Sandra picked up the bag of peanuts. It was a bag of roasted peanuts. She opened the bag. She poured out some roasted peanuts onto the table. There were about eight peanuts on the table. The peanuts were still in their shells. Each peanut was in its shell. Sandra picked up a peanut. She held it in her hands. She put her thumbs on the peanut. She broke the shell open with her thumbs. Sandra opened the shell. Inside the shell were two little red peanuts. Each peanut had red skin on it. Thin red skin covered both little peanuts. She took a little red peanut out of the shell. Sandra ate the little peanut with the red skin on it. Start the car. Bob pushed the button on the door handle. He pulled on the door handle. He opened the car door. He got into the car. He sat down. He sat down in the driver's seat. He sat down behind the steering wheel. Bob put the seat belt on. He buckled the seat belt. The seat belt went across his chest. The seat belt went across his lap. The seat belt kept him safe. He put his car key into the ignition. The ignition was next to the steering wheel. The ignition starts a car. Bob turned the car key in the ignition. The car started. More milk. Liz looked at the round plastic container. The plastic container was empty. There was no milk in the container. Liz wanted to drink some milk, but she was out of milk. She needed to make more milk. She opened the cabinet. She grabbed a box of powdered milk. She opened the box. She took the lid off the round plastic container. Liz poured some powder into the container. 
She filled up the container with cold water. She put the lid back on the container. Liz shook the container hard. She shook it and shook it. She poured some cold milk into a glass. She drank the cold milk in the glass. A summer job. Maria is 18. She will go to college in September. She will be a college student in September. But right now it is summertime. It is June. Maria needs a job. She needs money for college. She needs money to buy books for college. She wants a job. Maria went to a restaurant. Can I have a job? she asked. The restaurant manager said, I'm sorry, I don't need anyone right now. Maria went to a bookstore. Will you give me a job? she asked. The bookstore manager said, I'm sorry, I don't need new workers right now. A clean floor. Ed looked at the kitchen floor. The kitchen floor was dirty. There were little pieces of food on the floor. Ed saw bread crumbs. He saw cracker crumbs. He saw cheese crumbs. He saw little pieces of bread. He saw little pieces of cracker. He saw little pieces of cheese. He needed to sweep the floor. Ed didn't want bugs in his kitchen. Bugs like to eat little pieces of food. He took the broom out of the kitchen closet. He took the dustpan out of the kitchen closet. Ed swept the floor. He swept all the pieces of food into the dustpan. A wheelchair. Bill stole a wheelchair. The wheelchair did not belong to him. It belonged to someone else. The wheelchair belonged to Jenny. Jenny could not walk very far. She got tired very fast. It was her wheelchair. Jenny was inside her house. Her wheelchair was on the front porch. Bill saw the wheelchair on the front porch. He looked around. Nobody was around. He walked up to the front porch. Bill grabbed the wheelchair. He pushed it in front of him. He pushed the wheelchair to his home. Bill pushed the wheelchair into his home. Look, Grandma, he said. I brought you a new wheelchair. Trust God. Don has cancer. He is 12 years old, but he is lucky. The doctor knows how to fix Don's cancer. The doctor told Don's mom to bring him to the hospital. Don's mom said no. She will let God fix Don's cancer. God will fix Don's cancer. She does not trust the doctor. She doesn't trust the hospital. She only trusts God. The doctor said Don will die. He said Don must come to the hospital. Don's mom ran away. She ran away with Don. The police are looking for Don and his mom. 
They want to save Don's life. Only the doctor can save Don's life. Collect coins. Tom was bored. He didn't have anything to do. He wasn't interested in doing anything. He didn't want to watch TV. Tom didn't want to listen to the radio. He didn't want to play sports. He didn't want to use the computer. He didn't want to read books. I'm bored, Tom said. What can I do? I want to do something interesting. Tom's father had an idea. I have an idea, his father said. Why don't you collect coins? Coins are fun to collect, and coins are everywhere. You see coins every day. Some coins are valuable. They will make you rich. What's behind the door? Dottie looked at the door. It was a closet door. The door had a silver handle. The silver handle was round. The round silver handle was a doorknob. One day she tried to turn the doorknob. She tried to open the closet door, but the doorknob didn't turn. She couldn't open the closet door. The closet door wouldn't open. The door was locked. Why is the door locked? Dotty asked her mom. Her mom said it was locked for her safety. What's behind the door? She asked her mom. Her mom said a rifle was behind the locked door. Daddy kept a rifle in the closet. Let me drive. Davy was ten. His dad was driving the car. The radio was on. His dad was listening to the radio. The man on the radio was talking about an accident. The accident was on the freeway. Two people were dead. The accident had just happened thirty minutes ago. His dad told him that life can be short. Accidents happen everywhere. They happen to everyone. You must always be careful, Davy. His dad said, "Never be in a hurry. Always pay attention to other drivers." Davy said he would be a careful driver. He would never be in a hurry. He would always pay attention. Can I drive the car now? He asked his dad. Rose Queen. She won the contest. She won the Rose Queen contest. She was the new queen for the Rose Parade. She was so happy. She would be in the parade on New Year's Day. She was so excited. She would be on TV. Millions of people would see her. She would wave to people on the sidewalks in Pasadena. Pasadena was the home of the Rose Parade. Every year, thousands of people spent New Year's Eve on the sidewalks of Pasadena. They wanted to see the Rose Parade. Almost fifty floats are in the Rose Parade every year. All the floats are beautiful. They have lots of beautiful flowers. She would ride on a beautiful float. She would wave to everyone. Her parents and friends were so happy for her. Shoot it down. The country is full of criminals. 
Criminals are in every city. Criminals are on every block. They break all the laws. They don't care about the laws. There are thousands of laws. The criminals break all the laws. They laugh when they break the laws. The police watch the criminals. They try to arrest the criminals. The criminals shoot at the police. They kill the police. Last week they shot down a police helicopter. The helicopter crashed to the ground. The criminals ran over to the helicopter. All the policemen on the helicopter were dead. The criminals stole the guns from the dead policemen. They walked away from the helicopter. They were laughing. Hole in the wall. The bathroom wall had a nail in it. He pulled the nail out of the wall. It was a big nail. When he pulled the nail out, a hole was in the wall. It was a big hole. He wanted to repair the hole. He went to Walmart. Walmart has everything for sale. Walmart is a very popular store. He asked a clerk, How can I fix a nail hole in my bathroom wall? The clerk said it was very simple. A nail hole was easy to fix. Just buy this tube of nail hole filler, then squeeze it into the hole, the clerk said. He took the filler home. He squeezed it into the hole. He let the filler dry overnight. The next day, there was no hole. His leg hurts. There was something wrong with his leg. It burned, but it burned in one spot only. He didn't know what was wrong. The spot was smaller than a dime. It was on the back of his leg. He picked up a hand mirror. He used the hand mirror to look at the back of his leg. He saw a small lump. He put his finger on the lump. The lump was hard. It wasn't a soft lump. The lump felt like a small stone. It was like a small stone under his skin. But it was like a small stone that was on fire. It burned. Something was wrong. He needed to see a doctor. Let's go fishing. They walked onto the dock. They got into the boat. They had all their fishing gear. They were going fishing. They loved to go fishing. Sometimes they caught a lot of fish. Sometimes they caught a couple of fish. Sometimes they caught no fish. But fishing was fun even if they caught no fish. The boat left the dock. The boat stopped in the middle of the lake. Everyone put worms on their hooks. Some people put live worms on their hooks. Some people put dead worms on their hooks. Some people put rubber worms on their hooks. Everyone dropped their hooks into the water. Then they waited. They waited for the fish to bite the worms. A wild cat? The cat was not moving. It was lying in the grass. The cat was black and white. It was a pretty black and white cat. It was cold outside. The cat was lying on its stomach. It was dark outside. The porch light shined on the cat. The cat looked at Sissy. Mom, can I have the cat? she asked her mom. 
Her mom came outside on the porch. She looked at the cat. That is a pretty cat, her mom said. Can I have it? Sissy asked. Her mom said no. Maybe the cat belonged to another family. Maybe the cat was wild. If it was wild, it might bite Sissy. Red Spots He looked in the mirror. What were all those red spots on his face? Every morning he had fresh red spots on his face. Were they insect bites? Were insects biting him at night? What were those red spots? They would usually disappear in a few hours. Then his face would look normal. It would look like a normal face. It would have no red spots. But every morning he had an ugly face. All those red spots. What was happening at night? Was it his pillow? Was something in his pillow? Was something in his pillow making the red spots? He would buy a new pillow. Maybe his pillow was the problem. Piano player He played the piano. He played it very well. He started playing the piano when he was six years old. That was seven years ago. Now he was thirteen years old. He was very good. He won one piano contest after another. A famous piano teacher heard him play the piano. The teacher said, I want to bring you to New York. I will teach you how to be even better. I will teach you how to be the best piano player in the whole world. He didn't like that idea. He wanted to stay at home. He wanted to stay with his parents and his friends. His parents wanted him to go. They said they would visit him in New York every weekend. Eight Babies The woman had eight babies at one time. She was famous. Nobody could believe it. It was a world record. How could anyone have eight babies at one time? Her doctor had given her special drugs. The special drugs made her have eight babies. She was happy to have eight babies. I grew up all alone, she told the reporters. I did not like being alone. I decided that I would have many babies when I grew up. So now I have many babies. I am so happy. I am a lucky woman to have eight babies. I will love them all, and they will all love me. New Hair Color Susan didn't like the color of her hair. Her hair was changing color. It used to be all black, but now it was turning gray. She didn't like the gray hair. Gray hair made her look older. She didn't want to look older. She made an appointment with the beauty salon. A week later she went to the beauty salon. The hairdresser colored Susan's hair. She added a little bit of purple color to Susan's hair. When the hairdresser finished, Susan looked at her hair. She liked it. She couldn't see any gray hair. All she could see was black hair with a little bit of purple tint. The purple tint looked nice. Susan hoped her boyfriend would like it. He loves hot dogs. He was driving home. 
He couldn't wait to get home. He was hungry. He hadn't eaten in eight hours. Eight hours ago, he had eaten two hot dogs. The hot dogs were delicious. He had put lots of mustard, onions, and relish on the hot dogs. They were so delicious. He got home. He walked upstairs. He walked into his apartment. He opened his refrigerator. He took a package out of the refrigerator. It was a package of hot dogs. He took two hot dogs out of the package. He put them into the microwave. He took mustard, onions, and relish out of his refrigerator. He grabbed two hot dog buns. He was ready to eat two more delicious hot dogs.